This video is a cautionary tale on the interpretation of the Mars surface images generated and released by NASA's Curiosity rover vehicle over the last few years. As an example, I want to focus on this image taken by Curiosity's mast camera, which captures the Curiosity's shadow in the photo's frame. Many have claimed the shadow clearly shows a human technician with light breathing apparatus and an oxygen tank on their back, reaching up to work on some adjustments or something to the Curiosity vehicle. The image is highly suggestive of other NASA images of moon astronauts disembarking from their lunar vehicle during NASA's moon missions. And it, and it also has led to claims that the Curiosity image is proof that NASA maintains an active human population on Mars that is maintaining the Curiosity amongst other activities. That aside, I decided to test the claims of a human technician's shadow being inconveniently caught by the Curiosity's mast camera by recreating a lit 3D Martian diorama with a scale model of the Curiosity rover and an accompanying human technician. For many, the shadow seen in the Curiosity image implies a setup very similar to this one in which we can see a human technician standing at the front left corner of the Curiosity and reaching up and over with their right arm. The technician does not wear a helmet of any kind, but is instead wearing goggles while being sustained by an oxygen rig with the tank being on their back. The person is equipped this way because this light clothing and gear is what proponents of a human technician's shadow tend to suggest is represented by the shadow. I positioned first the sun's light to strike the rover from its rear at a low angle, as the photo's shadow indicates, and then positioned the human technician model in next to the Curiosity's front left corner and in a stance that best casts the kind of shadow suggested by the photo. These are the initial results. Clearly, we can begin to see an approximation of the shadow seen in the Curiosity image. However, as we shall see, there are elements in Curiosity's chassis and extendable front arm that also lend themselves to creating an approximation to the shadow captured in the original Curiosity image. To demonstrate this, take a look at the same setup from a different angle. Here we see the camera housing is pointed at a patch of Martian ground close to the front right of the Curiosity. In the original image taken by Curiosity, we can even see a part of the Curiosity's front extendable arm hinge, which demonstrates that the mast camera is shooting at an acute downward angle. The part of the Curiosity we can see is the hinge section to the arm that holds and extends the important scientific equipment used to take samples from the Martian surface, and this confirms that the original image was taken of an area immediately to the front right corner of the Curiosity. In this different angle from overhead, there are four red stakes that mark the corners of the camera's frame of reference. Note the shadow's appearance and its similarity to the original image taken by Curiosity. Now let's take a look at what the Curiosity's mast camera is actually looking at. The image is a convincing approximation of the original Curiosity image. However, there are some important considerations to make be before we declare success in establishing the presence of a human technician in the shot. Back to our other angle, take note of the complex array of scientific instruments held on the end of the extendable front arm, now shaded in green. If we take it out of the shot and assume it has been deployed on the ground within the shadow cast by the Curiosity's main body, then this is the resulting image we get from the Curiosity's mast camera. Again, rather convincing that it is a human generating the shadow scene in the original Curiosity image. But let's try something else. 
let's get rid of the human model and bring back the scientific instruments to their resting place and see what the masked camera picks up. In this case, there is also a remarkable similarity of image to the one seen in the original Curiosity photo. In doing this experiment, I've come to the conclusion that while a human could be the source of the shadow, a human is not required for Curiosity to, to generate a shadow play on the Martian surface as captured in the original image under discussion. In this case, Occam's razor must be applied where the simplest explanation for the uncanny-like human shape in the shadow is that it was most likely generated by elements of Curiosity's chassis and the scientific instruments positioned on its front.